This is a new Zulu news update. Refugees from Afghanistan hurled stones as they protested the destruction of their settlement in Islamabad, Pakistan today. The Capital Development Authority used bulldozers to demolish the illegal dwellings, which have occupied the area since 2005, the agency claims. Police and rangers used tear gas, water cannons, and riot gear to disperse the protesters, and several people were reportedly injured before the residents agreed to leave the slum. The operation was eventually halted as they lost daylight. A black cloud rose over western Sydney today as 200 firefighters battled a blaze at a defunct factory in Eastern Creek. Up to 90 people were evacuated from surrounding businesses as up to 120 New South Wales Fire Service personnel and 80 of their rural fire service counterparts rushed to the building on Peter Brock Drive. The crews on site do not believe anyone was inside at the time of the fire, and there have been no reports of injuries. Hundreds gathered Wednesday to pay their last respects to India's former president, APJ Abdul Kalam, in his hometown of Rameswaram, located in Tamil Nadu, India. A larger state funeral was held there today. Kalam, who died last week at the age of 83, served as India's 11th president from 2002 to 2007. He collapsed and died of cardiac arrest while delivering a scientific lecture in Shillong on July 27th. The former president has long been recognized for his achievements in writing, engineering, and politics. To see your news on New Zulu, download our app and upload today.